Welcome in, guys. Hmm. Welcome to Raw. You can use uh, cactuses or cacti, whatever you want. It's interchangeable. Get Raw with the redeems. Uh, we figured maybe we'd talk about the point system today. I don't know. I don't know how, how long we can stretch this out or what people yeah, have heard out and about, about. What people have heard out and about. What people think themselves. I mean, obviously, it's, you know, Pixel is going to do what he wants to do and... I think he's enjoying the point system. So regardless, uh, what is said, <laughs> I think I, who knows you. And then something that came across my mind too is like, well, okay, now this happened. Like, there's always the next big change that happens. Like, we haven't had a big change in a while. Something big like this, anyway. There's been small changes or whatever, but, um, and I know that's like like I'm thinking way far in the future of of what's the next big thing. But like, what? You know, what could persuade Pixel to change it again for whatever reason? What made him change it this time? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I like listening so, to you. So those are my thoughts. I, I don't know. Because I can definitely kind of see both sides. I think it's I think it's more beneficial at the moment, but I don't necessarily think people are fully seeing that. But I also, I don't know. Yeah, keep going. I think it goes back to me thinking it's not great to have tilts and races combined because, I mean, if you're a casual roller, I think it's good. I think, you know, you do decently as a casual roller with the changes, especially because the points have been boosted. Um, it might not happen as often, but when it does happen, you know, it's a nice chunk. But then it go going back to the tilted and races thing, like if you want consistent points, you're going to have to be in tilts. And not everybody wants to be in tilts. And not everybody that's in tilts wants to be in races. And I think that it, it just went harder the other way too. Like you have to be in races and stuff because of these big chunks. You can't just do tilted. I don't know where the zero zero zeros are right now or if they're doing it. Um, I haven't checked the full leaderboard, but that's something I thought about too. Um, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> There's really a lot to absorb from this. There's a lot to, like, see as it plays out. It's very interesting. And then the redeem side of things, too. There's that There's that aspect of it. There's a whole bucket of things that play into this equation that I don't think have been tapped yet. We're just seeing the startings of this. <clears throat> There's... Turn... Is that my still low? Do I need to turn myself up? Um, no, you're good. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, like at the at the start of it all, not at the start of the season, but at the start of it all, like this discussion, the initial, there's like two arguments. Well, there's the people who like it and the people that don't. From what I've seen, there's the people, the people who don't like it are not conveying a message. They're just saying, I don't like it, which I don't like that they don't like it without reason. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and the people that like it come out with reasoning and it's pretty good and it's interesting. And there's things that play into it that I, I didn't even account for. I didn't even play into like the equation of doing this change. Like some people are saying, oh, this is good for small streamers. Right. So that's like that's like one of the basics. Well, whenever there's a change, arguments. I feel like that's something that's brought up. Oh, this is going to hurt small streamers. This is going to hurt small streamers. So like this is the first time there's been a change in Marvels ever where it went the other way, where it's like, oh, this could be good for small streamers, which is super interesting <laughs> to me. It's like and that wasn't even a, like it wasn't an intention. Obviously, right. it's not. It's well, none of it's thing. an intention when you make the changes. Like, you're not trying to hurt small streamers or help small. Of course. You're just trying of to help course. everybody, essentially. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Now, I think at the greater good, I think this is a change that was needed. In hindsight, like, not, it's not like, oh, I'm going to make this change. This is the, this is going to be gold. But yeah. I think it's turning out to be that good. Yeah. Um, I think 
people getting too many points and too easily and it becomes it becomes the farm right like you just drop as much as possible and farm up as much points as possible and little little bits and little increments right so it's not as exciting when you get a big burst now racing is all about that burst it's like getting that top three now i haven't done a lot of racing in the smaller stream so i don't know what that experience is definitely like <clears throat> so i can't 100 percent comment on that but from what i see is like there's just way more excitement i get more excited excited when i'm seeing oh top three like we're close to top three and you get excited as it comes to the finishing oh right it's something i said in <clears throat> sins this morning too and something i was just noticing the other day is like everyone knows who's getting the points it's so much easier for the streamer to like read it out and move on you know mm -hmm. not that you know sometimes i still read out the top 10 or whatever but i <clears throat> there was so many points to read out i think with the other system and this is coming from the streamer side i wouldn't read out the points you know i would read out top 10 maybe and then maybe sometimes right. top three maybe just first place now it's like i feel like more i'm more set in a system of being like okay top three is like that's necessary to say. I can go to top 10 if I want. I don't really have to, but I would never go. I would never read the points out with the other yeah. system as a streamer. Some did. <clears throat> I, you know, I saw streamers do it. It's not like streamers didn't do it. And it was funny because the, I think the most, the streamers that I saw do it most were streamers that didn't even care about the leaderboards, right? They would just like look at the, it was like, you know, streamers just hanging out and, oh, look, you got these points. Cool. All right, let's move on. <laughs> oh, look, look, you got all these points. All right, let's move on. Yeah. But they don't even like fully participate in the leaderboard or whatever, but it's still yeah. something. Like still getting points is something. And <clears throat> the fact that you can see your your rank regardless of your rank, I think, was was an amazing play when that happened because people love seeing where they're at. It's like, oh, I got five points and I bumped up like 20 spots. And now I'm ranked 100,342. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> There's so much to dive into on this, I think. Yeah. Like, what happens to all the people who used to target exact points that they wanted, right? What are they going to do now? Or are mm. they just going to say, screw it and not Tilt. do it again? <clears throat> right they in, they'll inch their way up so they'll stop dropping and go to tilts to like inch i don't know man it's really it's really interesting it, it sucks that tilted needs to take a sideline when this happens but i think once again i think this is a greater good thing yeah um on the streamer side of tilts right that's also like that's gotten really hard to for, to get like a lot of experience to compete with the racers right well that change actually I, I increased it this season a little bit hmm. the xp output but i i haven't decreased it tilted has stayed the same right now i'm just saying it's become more difficult <clears throat> because of the additions or whatever but i mean that could change over time with with people getting yeah i mean like i'm not trying to put back or hold back tilted streamers at all right. now. like it's, it's just it's finding that balance and like how to properly do it and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't want one thing I saw last season that I really didn't like is a couple people doing tilts one to nine over and over and over. Oh, okay. Right. And when tilt is the tilted is the forefront of the game at the time, right? Because they had the most point output. Yeah. It was the forefront. It was just like, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. that's a thing, right? And I don't want to stop that thing, but I don't want to make it as prominent. I don't want to make it a, like a forefront. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is where we're at now. Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. I mean, I go through these waves of like, what should be the forefront of the game and, you know, what should lead the way. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah sorry i'm just like gathering some thoughts mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you gotta do that sometimes like racing how long has it been since like racing's been kind of like sidelined by tilted right how many times in terms of like point no how for how long <clears throat> like it was like seven seasons Thinking back, <clears throat> what like where tilted streamers were 
Tilted was the place to get points. Like it was mm. the leading place to get points for a while, right? Yeah. Like racing took a sideline because I was like so focused on adjusting tilted. And also like the way we have to adjust racing is it's weird. It's really like <clears throat> it's challenging mm. to do because it has to exist in multiple places. So I always held held myself back from making those changes because it's just a headache in the back end. So I always just was like, okay, I'll tune tilted. I'll try to get tilted in the perfect spot. And then last season, tilted was in, I don't know, to me it felt really good just watching and seeing like who's participating and how the point is and, and the points and like, you know, the reasoning as to why viewers and streamers play together <clears throat> felt really good. And I was like, I, I want to stop changing this. Like it feels good at least to an extent. I know there's imperfections and, you know, things can be tuned further. But in general, like, like as a whole, I think Tilted's pretty good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right? So then it's like, okay, let's stop trying to change this thing that's actually feeling good right now and go back to racing and see how we can change that up. And you've been mentioning this for a while is like making racing better again, right? Like kind of <clears throat> bringing some life back to it. And I think the Royale thing, you were the one that kind of put it in my brain, right? The what? Royale chunk. Like, everybody gets the points. It's hard to remember everything, but I mean, yeah, maybe. I was definitely influenced by somebody. Like, it wasn't yeah. my conception or whatever. Yeah. But I definitely grabbed onto it, and I was like, okay, this... And I like it. Like, I like the change. It's, it really creates an excitement. But I another thing is, is somebody was like, okay, just turn a switch on that we could do that in races. Like, everybody gets the points. And that that statement to me didn't feel right like i was like no and then this was a while back right mm -hmm. so i just never did it and then it's just like what if you did do that though point. i mean why i think it's too much like i think it's too it's too much first place only because it is like going too little like three is a point where i would no, I, I mean, like, listen. what if there was, what if you, what if the streamer had a choice of where the point, like, it's the too season much. points Like, I think meant. that's too much. Mm. That's too much. Like, you don't want, you want it to, everybody to understand. Like, it goes right, back to, like, true. understanding yeah, yeah, yeah. the output of the system. Yeah. It's but. Same across the board or whatever. Yeah, exactly. But I do think, like, there's an argument here that I'm willing to listen to of, like, three might be too little in racing. Like, we might want to go to five. Or like somewhere in there. Like I think that's an argument to be made because mm -hmm. you do want a little bit. You do want more people to be engaged with the system, but also I, you don't I, want too many people getting it. And I do like the fact, again, just like everyone can tell who gets the points in every single yeah. race, yeah, and who to celebrate or who to be mad at. <laughs> <laughs> and top five wouldn't go be excessive. Yeah, it's it's drawing. It's getting close. Like. Five's a, a little bit like a, it's more. Yeah, it's more for the brain to absorb, right? But yeah, I don't. I don't think it would be a totally negative play. But I think we're in a place where we're starting to understand like how all the three different ecosystems to get, can play into the system in a unique way, right? Like now, tilted, it's it's still great because it's constant and you don't need to worry about energy, right? So if you want an energy free space, that's tilted your home base. And even when I was grinding the first day, grinding it was like four streams, <laughs> but like I had a Still tilt a stream up because I wanted a regular flow. Like I was like, I want a great play. Like I want another place to hang out mm -hmm. and have a steady flow of points. So it makes sense to me. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I've just, just been hanging like, in like three places at yeah. a time this season, but not dropping much. You know, I have them up and <laughs> listening. I like drop a ball every 10 minutes or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What about the zero 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 people? What about them? I don't know. Well, they can still zero zero zero. It's just I I don't think the the points are there to do that. <clears throat> maybe, or maybe the streamers aren't there. The streamers I would agree are not there right now <laughs> for the tilt, which is interesting as well. Is it just because they're gone? They've gone to racing. So that's that's like data we don't harvest. Yeah, like we don't collect that much data, so I can't go. Oh well, all the tilters da 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 da. 
and then now this season they're they're all right. racing. Plus, everyone has their lives. Like, who knows? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be interesting to see this play out because I think redeems do play into this in a positive way. Yeah, that's like for channels thing too. Like you can really just like if each place played into the redeems. Now you're incentivizing people to be a part of those communities to win. And at least those communities can have a little bit of like a say in who's winning. In terms of like people need points to get a little bit of a boost, right? Mm. But we were I'm not going to force that like that's not something like like it's just there, right? But I think it's interesting. It's so interesting. <laughs> uh, but that's uh, possibly not going to be a thing. I mean, I don't know how long that's going to be until that's that wouldn't be a thing. But that's possibly not going to be a thing in the future. The redeems. Well, like you'll be able to manipulate your ball, but not redeem, not redeem style, like through the app or whatever. Oh, yeah, because we get the app limitation, but I don't want to take away the redeems, I don't think. Mm. Like, I don't think they're exploitable. I haven't, like, seen an instance where it's being exploited. Right? So, it's under a good contro control, control structure. Uh, and then the same thing would exist through our app. There's a bunch of different ways we could do this, the app stuff. I think it's... We're getting into a very interesting era of marbles that... I really never planned on because I never even thought engaging with your marble is a good thing, right? Like my, for the first couple of years, it was like, nope, no boosting, no nothing, right? It's mm -hmm. just like, we're just rolling marbles. <clears throat> and the more we do this stuff, it just creates more ways to play the game. Yeah. So <laughs> here we are. Well, and I think, you know, as a streamer, and for me, like, I mean, I guess I'm just I'm building a community around the things that I like to do, right? But I mix things up so much, and I know some people don't like some things, some people like other things, you know what I mean? Like, I do all sorts of different crap, and it's like, it's tough, because I know I'm like, all right, I'm doing this, and I want to do this, and I know some people want to do this, but I know it bothers other people. It's like, and some people just want to sit there and, like, race all day and not do anything right and it's yeah. like well i want to i want to do some boosting and jumping and whatever and like switch <laughs> yeah. it up and and it's like it's just hard man that's that's just me being raw about as as a streamer like it's hard dude it's hard oh yeah because like i can't just sit there and do you know the same shit all day for hours every day like i gotta switch it up i gotta yeah. i mean the fact that you can switch it up now is pretty cool i think yeah and I, yeah and i like that too the fact that it's not like I'll sit there and get bored playing marbles and be like, I got to play another game. It's like, oh, let's just switch up the way we're playing marbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. So. Um, so just like a little history on this change, I almost switched it in a different direction where more people were going to get points and there was just going to be more point output. Mm. Right? <clears throat> and I said it live on my stream. like It was like three days before push, I think, or four days and Sension was there, and Sension said something that just, like, it injected into my brain. Like, within 10 minutes, I was just like, oh, we don't want to do this. And I went the other direction. And hashtag I just blame like, Sension? Hashtag blame Sension. Dude, honestly, I think Sension's been, like, an influence for change in this game a lot mm -hmm. over time. Just be, like, just a lot of, like, little things he's said in the past. It's just like, ah... Mm -hmm. Ah, so, but it's good. Hey, like I think, if we can make racing this exciting again, like holy cow! It always like, you right? Like from the game dev standpoint, it's always concerning when like something becomes stale, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, how do you adapt this to get? just to bring some life back to it, right? For people who've been playing this game for four plus years. Yeah. Right? While not changing it so it's not friendly for new people either. Well, and I just, 
I just thought too, like, <clears throat> let's say you're in one of those communities. You know, they marble. They do a couple marble races a day or something. You know, just to start the stream. It's like a bigger community. They have a, a whole bunch of racers in there, or maybe they do a royale, and somebody gets this huge amount of points, and they're just like, "Holy crap! Look at all those points I just got!" And then things just start clicking in their brain if they see that. A lot of it has to do with the streamer too. If they announce those types of things, to yeah. get it into their brain, but. You know, it's, fu <clears throat> it's funny. You know, I mean, Tiara, like, you can always find the things that are still stale. You, know, you can always point at, you can, always, you can keep pointing at the game and be like, oh, this part, oh, this part, oh, this part. Like, we can go at it all day. Because the way that I move through development of the game, just we hit different sections of the game at a time. It's changing it. I mean, like, maps, I've talked about this so many times. Maps are coming in for a ma massive overhaul. We don't even know what that system's going to do to it. Like, with a new builder, we have categories like searchability changes, everything changes. So a top map isn't necessarily the most played. You could search all these different categories. So how does that impact a system? That's why I'm not too concerned about the staleness of maps. But I've also had this other idea, <clears throat> and it kind of layers in with how we're doing the the clips. So you know how we're doing the clips, right? We give points to the or give coins to the people that are involved in that clip system. Mm -hmm. What happens if I actually lean into the idea of like, we try to optimize the best maps possible right now in, in this, in the sense of saying the top three people who get like the top three map builders of the season. So it, it's, it is the most played right now. If we incentivize that with coins, what happens? Because right now, people are doing it just to do it, right? To be a part of the grind. Mm -hmm. But if we actually leaned in and said, let's try to make, let's try to get everybody making the best possible maps that are going to be run the most. Is it just a one-minute map? Or does it become a one-minute five map with a little bit more life to it? And we actually <clears> lean into probably this get one challenge minute, one tracks minute we run a bunch of times. You think so? Maybe <laughs> enough because it has to be enough, right? Right, but I'm yeah, just compared thinking, to like, the what crankers. Happens to, what happens to one minute maps if you actually lean into it and say, Everybody participate here? Mm. That's essentially what you're saying is like right. by putting a bunch of coins and prizes there, you'd see more people probably promoting their maps to try to, <laughs> to, try to get well, them right. out there. But it means more and people, more, more creatives people, are in the space, yeah, doing right? like building the maps. Yeah, so if people. Like, is the problem with one minute maps that they're one minute? Or is the problem with one minute maps is that the people running them are just doing the race and that's it? Like, there's not a show. Mm. But what if it became a show? Because I know one minute content is not bad. We know TikTok content works a charm. It works like a charm, right? Mm. How long is that content? Seconds. So mm. the timing of the map, in my opinion, is not the problem. It's the creativity put into it and the people casting them. So what happens when you just drive more incentive to be put into it, like more uh, attention to be put into it, right? What happens? Like, I don't know. Maybe nothing happens. It's possible. So that's like where my head's at right now is like, what happens with, with these things when you actually put incentives behind them? Right. Well, you're just like you're pushing people to get more creative and and create better content. Yeah, but maybe with, by maybe putting not. incentive behind it, you know. But I mean, if you know, I don't know. <laughs> people are gonna. It, it's gonna help. It's gonna help push some people to well, and and viewers too to like help with everyone being incentivized to like do this right. And and I'm speaking mainly of the clip thing. With everyone incentivized to like do this. I think it's just going to help push the content in general and hopefully push creators to to want to create that content too. Yeah. I'm thinking about it more and more when I stream and do things, you know? For sure. Obviously, you can't catch everything, but it's like, well, some, something happened there. 
Maybe I'll mention somebody should clip it, or maybe I'll just <laughs> hope somebody clips it. But yeah, in general, searchability is the key to to solving this, in my opinion. Like, there's just it just creates more diversity in like how you access maps, right? Like right now, there's what rating top or uh, rating, and then newest, and then your favorites, right? Yeah. So it's like really, you, most people are going to go to rating because number one, that's home base, and then newest, you're it's a gamble, right? So that's another reason why people just hang out in rating. So if that was just like different categories, race, cinematic, da da da, da challenge, right? And people yeah. just tab through them, and then it's rating between, within that, or even just solving within that, it's, it changes everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maps are in a major focus, at least not right now for me, is just because we just need to get to the new era of the builder. Yeah. But I think some people, you know, are probably frustrated with the weightings of of things with dust and the builder being oh, remade yeah. and stuff like that and and that's always going to be a thing um but you know i don't think <laughs> i don't know i've 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 never been let down and like you've always said like just enjoy the game for what it is now and and know that things are being worked on and hopefully they'll yeah. come sooner rather than later and the thing, you know, the thing with the uh, the rev share was uh, announced for next season. Um, I was trying to figure all that out. I was getting frustrated, so I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw it was coming next season, so I'm, I'm sure there'll be more announcements. There's about gonna be more whatnot. details. There's, yeah. yeah, there's a few things that aren't locked in yet. Like I have this image, but even that's not locked in yet. So I took it down. Like we had it in the Discord just because they're showing it on their stream. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, like. Just know it's going to be awesome. It's going to be sweet. Like, if you've been involved in marbles, you're going to get rewarded. At least, like, a bunch, right? Like, if you've been involved in marbles a bunch and, play, and played a bunch and raced a bunch, like, as a streamer, you're going to get rewarded because of the rev share program. And then all the incentives that's going on during that month are there to promote the streamers to play, right? Like, th this whole incentive is about streamers, basically. Mm -hmm. And then, so like I'm leaning, <clears throat> that's why like I'm more focused on racing, the racing experience and trying to make it better because we're bringing, the streamers are going to be coming and the, and the ones who've been here are going to get rewarded. Like I have this system so well designed, I think it's just, I'm really excited. Oh yeah. Right. Like I think there's. Uh, so do you need like a stream raiders account thing then? Would do people have to? You will to make need to a... log into their system, but not raiders. Captain TV is specific, oh, right? Okay. So Captain TV is their platform, and it's their they have a hub. Right. So the game will be available there, and you'll be able to log in and see your experience totals up to the point that we give them, which should be at the end of at the end of this season. They'll have updated XP, and then you log in, and then it'll continue adding. Um. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff they've built that's really cool. So, like, there's an overlay. You know how the Stream Raiders has an overlay mm -hmm. in the corner, and it says, like, play it or join in or whatever? Mm -hmm. Well, now it's going to, like, it's going to connect with marbles, and it'll get it'll say, like, play now, and it'll give you your XP totals and progress to your next, like, whatever, reward, the next ticket that you're going to earn in that specific event. Dang. Uh, there's, also, there's also something being announced on Friday that I can't talk about just yet, but... This Friday, pay attention to their live stream. It's there's there's more coming. Like it's sick. Uh, so lean into it as far as hard as you can uh, while it's active. the The rev share program's staying, right? There's no time gate on that. But um, the rest of the stuff is going to be there's going to be like some one time event kind of stuff. And then we're also I'm going to be doing a bunch of drops during that month as well. Like season 35 is the place to be <laughs> like it's going to get crazy. Like I think we're going to extend all weekends. So Marble Day will it'll drop with the season. Marble Day will run and it'll run until Sunday. And I think the next two weeks will be uh, like all Thursday. <clears throat> yeah, Thursday to, or Friday to Sunday. It'll be Friday to Sunday, Friday to Sunday. So dang. Just like tons of drops, it's it's mental. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so, those who've been asking for streamer incentives, like that is it. That is my focus. That has been my focus for a long time. At least it's been what I've been talking about. 
is you know everybody's asking for like more more freaking emotes and more this and more balls and it's like nah now nah, we got you rev share baby like that that is ongoing support and it's creator code so it's all connected to the coin system yeah and you guys know the shop like that shop i'm super proud of that shop that shop is just it just goes it just goes we have very little like hands-on on it except when we want to get certain assets on there just if they haven't shown up in a while and it just rotates right mm -hmm. so as a creator coming into marbles like you just have all this potential with the shop and if you're a creator like and you have a creator code boom just it's just totally enabling and up to 30 percent. so that means each 10 bucks you can make three this is like to me that's awesome it's pretty good and it's easy. Yeah. Yeah, man. No, it's crazy like we're here. Like we've been talking about this for so damn long. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yep. And then yeah, dust. Dust is around the corner as well. Dust will dust will be great for viewers. Right? That'll be great for like the viewing experience because now like just it's an exp exponential growth on how much you can do with with uh dev balls or duplicates 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 yeah man it's exciting um you want to get in some raws yeah, let's get some raws 23 minutes left uh ba -ba boop 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 uh, just to go off the top three thing, the new top three system is great, but humans are usually bad in handling chance. Yeah, I mean... Chance you, you, or change? Chance. Oh, okay. well, well, it said chance, but maybe they meant change. But both, I mean, honestly. Because, you know, you have less of a chance to get top three. Yeah. So you feel more pain every race. But then when yeah. it happens, is the joy... Does the joy... But then what if it never happens? Right. Maybe what you're racing you never get streams. But I feel like you'd get a lot of attention if that never... Like, if you're literally, like, 100 races in and you got no points, or 400 races in you got no points, like, people are going to be like, yo. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, check... I, yeah, maybe that's on the streamer to check the season leaderboard more often now and be like, man, you've been... You've done 100 races and you're just absolute trash. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so mean. Yeah. So mean. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. maybe a random extra point spot in addition to top three race. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't know if Pixel would want something that out of order. Yeah, I mean, like it's just tough to do. Like, how do you visualize that to the streamer, right? Yeah, and then like that, a quick way, and then, uh. It's just it's just not so easy to have that like across the board for everybody to to know like a random spot, as opposed to just being like top three. It's a lot easier to to learn that. It's like top three and then wait, tenth place is getting points too. What the heck? Yeah. Mm -mm. People are just like itching for points. Well, see, this is the thing. We're in. We're literally at the moment of change in time, right? Like, that's another thing to take into account. When you make a change, you can't, you cannot directly look at the emotions that are coming from that change right away. You have to let them settle. It's why we call, like, the season launches the one-week jitters. Mm. Like, the, the week one jitters is, like, it's real. Because right. people are freaking out. There's new people going for the leaderboard. People look at those people go, yo, what are these people doing in my space? I was grinding. I'm the best. Right. And then you got new streamers pushing in their unique ways. And people are looking at those people being like, yo, what are you doing in my space? Right. My space. My space. So it's like. You cannot lean into the week one jitter opinions. You cannot even mm -hmm. my own. You have to let it sit. You have to let it brew, brew a stink, a stench that you can smell in the air and say, yeah, that ain't right. Or. 
It's got to mm. be stinky. That's clean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I, it's really thinking. it's really important it's really important to like just let it absorb because you're going from definitely if you played last season going into this season you're immediately going where's my points where's my points i've been playing like this all in you know the last couple seasons where's my points so but then some people are like my points and they're sitting <laughs> on a pile of them just ah yeah so yeah, I mean like at the same yeah, it's just it's just funny. You just gotta let it let it linger, let it chill out. Some fat chunks out there. It's so careful. good, man. Like what happens like the way the point system's set up, what happens at large streams? Right? Cause now it's a true gamble. Like Top three. It's not like you want to edge up and get it get like that. So I'm saying spot those people that man, might not know anything about the leaderboard might notice, be like, well, I got. I got a shit ton of points. Yeah. What does this mean? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's just more eye opening. But it, it, if those people got into it, they would most likely come down to the smaller streams mm. and start dabbling, right? And be like, okay, well, I want, I want some more points. And I know three out of a thousand is less chance than one or three out of three and a hundred. Three and fifty. Uh, I don't know if I understand this. Maybe a three step system up to six players only first. Maybe a three-step system up to six players only first. Seven of 25, only top three. Over 25, top five. Uh, well, it works like that kind of now. So up right. to six first, and then after that, it's top three. But I was going to increase that over bottom end. Over 25, top five was the end of that. Yeah, so I mean, a, like, but... it's not it's not out of the question. It's just as it... Because if you create the steps, then how high do you go with the steps, right? But anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm just, this is where we're at. We're going to watch, see? Yeah. There's definitely a lot to consume from this change. I mean, in general, it looks like the category is having a good time, right? Like more people are getting engaged by it. It seems like the hype of the season's sticking around a little bit longer. Well, if people I get a, get a nice chunkerino, and then or they realize they can get get some good points in general, and then they learn that they can get the gem ron, you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's what I mean, I'm like, doing. I'm like I'm not going right crazy, but I think you know I can get ten thousand points. Yeah. So I'm seeing more chance to get there too. So it's keeping me engaged. Yeah. To like actually try, right? To actually be like, okay, I'm gonna hit this 10k. So, yeah, like it's like just us discussing this, it opens your eyes, right? Because then you're like, okay, will we try to like grab a couple big chunks some point throughout the season, like hit up a medium sized stream that pops in or rocks and PML or whatever? Like, I don't even know if I talked about this live or not, but like shows like PML. The, the, that show literally like is designed for this point structure yeah right because only the first like it's, it's, it's just designed for finish. like yeah yeah so how does that play into it right when you lean in with a show and you have a show designed for the point system and you know you don't need to just be like everybody wins everybody lives well i remember that's why people used to like hate portal purgatory because it's like oh only a few balls got in and not everyone's getting yeah. the points possible <laughs> yeah so like yeah what happens with this long term how does this meta fine tune where does it fine in, fine tune into does it fine tune into more redeems are active does it fine tune into like perfectly designed maps that like the top five finish so it's super interesting mm. Right, like who knows? Even if it's designed within a one-minute map structure, you're like, okay, these these maps need to be one minute. Some people just hate to see their balls die in general. Yeah, but now it doesn't matter, right? So it's like, it does to them. <laughs> Some people really hate to see their balls die. 
You know, they well, stack good. that RNG. And they're like, oh, no. I have more of a chance to lose now because I can fall off the map easier. <laughs> well. Is that true, though? Do you think that's true? What? If it's, if it's a death map. Top three get points. There's a guarantee of top three finishing. But, like, everybody else is going to die. Uh, is there... Is there more of a chance to lose that than there is if everybody just crosses the finish line? To lose that? What do you mean? Yeah. So the, it's the well, for to, in my mind, it's the same amount of chance. It's it's really a, a silly scenario, but a map only three finish. Let's say yeah. hundred balls always join this race. Only three finish. The rest always die. Right. And then another map right next to it, all 100 finish all the time. Do you have more of a chance to get points in one race than another if top if only top three are getting points? No, there's no difference. Exactly. But some people will say there is. That's what I'm saying. Well, well yeah, because people want to lean into their, their, like, myths and all this crap that it could be, right? Or, like... Whatever. Mm. Marble but death like, energy. I don't claim that marble death energy. Yeah, <laughs> whatever <laughs> it is. It's just like, I mean, live in, live in your own la-la land, but mm -hmm. facts are the facts, right? Yeah. So, and, so, you know, some people will be like, well, I'm always unlucky. You know, here's here's something really interesting. People, I hear people say, well, what if you flip flip it? Flip the points. To oh, give when it you the flip the points, three. so many people are like, "Oh, this is it's my time to shine." Like yeah. so many people. <laughs> but if you're truly unlucky, if you believe you're unlucky, then you'll start coming first. <laughs> right. You'll be the one coming first, then and right. dodging the points, right? Mm -hmm. I, it's just these arguments I find are hilarious. That people actually—I don't know if people actually are just memeing, but it's hilarious. It's so much energy being put into something that you we literally... Need, we need the stats of every position every marbler has ever gotten in every race for each person. I would love person. to start... Yeah, that would be so cool to start seeing that. Yeah. It'd be some one great day. data. I'm sure we'll be there one day. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'd yeah, be yeah. like, here, here's your percentage. Yeah. Like, here's your win well, percentage or whatever. People used to break down that stuff. Or I think we used to show it or something. I can't remember. But yeah, somebody people used to talk about that, right? Like their death percent or something, or just break it off of the leaderboard. And it's like, mm, yeah, it was yeah, often you could very figure smaller. out your death percentage if you just take the number of races with the yeah. number of DNFs. Like over a long period, it was very similar. Yeah, it was like everybody kind of evened and out. win percentage too. But that depends on number of racers as well. Like obviously, if you're racing in streams with only two racers, your win percentage is going to be amazing compared to ten races. Oh, yeah, actual win percent. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yep. Um, yeah, let's bust through some. Uh, with the addition of channel redeems like boost and the ability to earn points while using channel redeems, will the arcade boost mode be updated to award points or be reworked in some capacity? No, arcade's probably going away. I mean, yeah. if you've been listening to me for a while, arcade's probably just going away. Yeah. Yeah, I assumed that was going to happen, like, just because, you know, with the redeems and the thing, talking about the app, like, but what about our fashion shows? Well, fashion show is going to evolve into its own mode, actually. Yes. <laughs> it, it is. I, like, it, it's a thing to me. It just yeah. needs to be easier now, would it, to play. Would it be, like, is that, is it just not worth getting rid of arcade mode right now? It's just there... a lot of UI rework. Mm. And like, if we're gonna go down that route, we might as well rework the UI because we have an idea to redo the menu as and as well and make, like, there's a bunch of options there that complexify the visuals for new people coming in. Mm. Like, this is the design is like going away from showing all that leaderboard stuff at the start of the game, and just showing a menu of like play, season, like just showing us some buttons, right. and then you can just dive in and, and ignore all that stuff at the start so you're not being presented with it because it really doesn't it doesn't enhance the game it just enhances the thing the stuff for the community but the community right. knows where to find the stuff so you don't need to baby the community the community can take care of themselves yeah just don't tell new streamers to go into the boost arcade mode <laughs> now they can explore what they want 
what do you think about 24-7 streams running to get top three with multiple people streaming? Do you think this is cheating or just part of an evolving ecosystem? I mean, it's bound to happen. I'm surprised it took so long for it to actually I happen. I thought it was going to be a sooner thing for sure. It's challenging. It's a challenging situation. Uh, the only thing I want to make sure is that there's no automation going on. If there's no automation, I'm happy. Yeah. If if we're talking automated, I'll I'll and I see it, you're done. You're not gonna earn XP ever again in this game. Yeah. Like, I have zero tolerance for that shit. I like, mean, what if it was like top five streamers were twenty four seven streams with four people? What if it ended up getting that far down the line? And that, I don't those think it's valuable. Like... I really don't think it's valuable. Yeah. Like, I mean, what's I, I... Yeah, I, Why? I'm, I'm the same way. I don't think, like, we'll see that. Maybe, maybe you know, there's a group like that that'll, that'll do it every, like, once in a while or something. Like, oh, you know, we have this, we have multiple streamers. Let's, let's get ourselves a ball in the game and let's, whatever, yeah. let's do it for a season. But, yeah, I, I think streams like that that aren't built just to do it. Like, if, if a stream is built just to do it, I, who knows where that would go, but... I think if a stream already has people, like multiple people doing the stream, they're not going to always be doing the grind, and I don't think it'll ever become a problem. Yeah. That's yeah, just my speculations, but who knows, so. Like, it's not sustainable in general, I don't think, like having so many people lean into it, but maybe it is. Like, the only thing you need is the game to have enough for everybody to, like, play 24-7. Right to grow a community around it twenty four seven. Yeah. If the game, if people feel the game has enough to go, then people will just start pushing the gas pedal to win. Right. But also, we've been leaning slowly away from just rewarding the win. Yeah. Right. Like the win's there, but actually, there's like, a lot more opportunity. Like we've been leaning into more events, like the event streams with skins, as opposed to just. Right. Yeah. So, like, I think leaning away from the... Yeah, so like, you can be a competitor or, like, you can be a creator and possibly go that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know which would, which would you say is harder, going the competitive route or going the blow pixels They're mind. They're both and, hard. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they both have a lot of work that go into it. And that's the thing to realize is that even, you know, like, everybody's doing their own grind and everybody's participating in their own way. And yeah, it all has value. It's just... Is it sustainable? And that's like that's where our opinions come in, and we always talk about that. Is like, is the stream sustainable? Is it going to work? Or whatever, right? We all have our opinions on that. Mm -hmm. But in the end, the the market is what tells the truth, right? If you're sitting there with two viewers for three years on end after twenty four seven streaming, and you haven't assessed yourself and assessed your stream and been like, okay, what's the problem here? Uh, you know, you're living in La La Land. But if you're growing, you got an upwards trend, you're kicking ass, you're doing things in your own way, no cam, it doesn't matter, like, and you're crushing it, opinions don't matter. Just do your thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's in the end, it's like when it comes to these multi, the multi-person streams and everything, as to me, as long as it's in the up and up in terms of like automation, if they're not automating to go to sleep, I'm good. If they automate, you're done. Done in my books. It goes against the culture. It goes against what we built. But, yeah. Yeah, man. Like, the community always identifies these people, right? Pretty much always, like, identifies the automators, the people cheating. So, like, there's also, like, this internal policing that occurs. It's kind of like what I'm getting at. Which I think is healthier. As long as it's like, hey, we don't support this and you just don't go there and don't support it. Which mostly always happens. Like whenever I find these things, it, not many people are there doing it. Yeah. Like in the, on the racer side, people are like cringed by it. Because they know there's humans out there working hard to kick ass. <laughs> yep. Yep. Nobody likes that stuff. <laughs> uh, what about giving more energy to include more streamers? 
What? More energy to include more streamers, apparently. So people can roll in more streams? Oh. You don't want to do that. But they We've ended with, and not just the big names. The big names. Yeah. Ooh. The see, big see, this names. is someone that's going the opposite way. Of this is gonna hurt small streamer. Like they're saying, this is gonna hurt small. This hurts small streamers. Well, energy hurts small streamers. Well, oh so yeah, yeah. Hurt. Energy hurts. That's always been a thing. Energy hurts small streamers. The point system helps small streamers. <laughs> like, to an extent. The thing is, it is when you look back through history of marbles, you're, the, the argument fizzles. Because all of these people who've streamed marbles have built from nothing. Yeah, I've started with nothing. Tony started with nothing. Everybody started with nothing. LT started from with marbles and is still going, right? right. Like, almost everybody who's dominated a season... Everyone's just got their own path and, like... I mean, that's the rawness of streaming is like everyone's path is different and some paths don't go anywhere. Some paths go really slowly. Some paths go up really quickly. Whatever works for whatever streamer and, you know, what works for one isn't going to work for another. And that's, you know, that's why we throw our opinion out there w about streams. But it's like it's not necessarily going to work for every streamer. Crap, the stuff that I do doesn't work for me half the time. And then I got to change it <laughs> up, you know, like that's just how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, you just keep trying. And I think in it does, end, so I talk about it. I'm like, yeah, maybe I should do this. And then I talk about it to people, and they're like, oh, shit, it doesn't work. So I, st I got to stop doing that and change it. And like, yeah, I don't know. You just got to work for it, man. Like, in the end, if you blame the system, you, you're you you're holding yourself back to the system, right? Whatever system you're blaming, whether it be the game, our game, another game, life, it really doesn't matter. If, you, if you're sitting there blaming the system... You're you're stating that I am not doing anything until the system changes, and therefore you're not going to get anywhere until the system changes, and then the system's probably going to change and not in your favor, and you're going to get mad again and then do nothing again for the next segment. I saw something long today. It was like it was a tweet. I forget who tweeted it. I wish I remembered so I can give him a shout out. But it was, don't rock the boat. Be the boat. That, does that make sense in this uh, scenario? <laughs> <laughs> it does. Okay. Yeah, no, it works. I was just picturing somebody being a boat. Oh, yeah. Like everybody's sitting inside them. Like a transformer, <laughs> a boat transformer. <laughs> <Human. laughs> it's just a rowboat. <laughs> no paddle. About, oh, my God. <laughs> I can see myself doing that, actually. <laughs> you ever see The Incredibles? They... they, they the mom, wait, no, the stretchy yeah. one, was that the mom became the yeah, boat, the and then mom, the kid yeah. was kicking the legs? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, how about using channel points or energy for tilts? Channel points or energy? Well, channel points you can use, right? But energy, I don't know. Like, for what? To get in? To I guess, yeah. Yeah. That's We have to assume when it's not specific. That's an never idea. really thought about it. That's an idea. Yeah. No, like I've thought about en like energy for tilts, and I just I'm still I don't want it to just be another energy thing. Mm -hmm. That's why the that's why we went the direct. I mean, that's why I was on board with going the direction that we did. It's just like, yeah. Uh, this one just says Pachinko. Was it Biggie? Lost in VA. Um. <laughs> Changes are for the better. Yes. The greater good. Um, why do so many people think horse riding is not a sport? I mean, a lot of people think gaming is not a sport. What's a sport? We got to look that up. Definition. <laughs> Where's me damn points? Uh, maybe a multiplier for loyalty. So those that have streamed for longer or played for longer, more seasons, get a small multiplier. Well, if you stream more in the season, you do get a multiplier on on your XP. experience, yeah, as a streamer. Yeah. But that's just within the season. It's not cumulative. Right. 
That okay, so I that think that would get specific, a little out of control. Well, that specific suggestion, like that idea, is just saying let's make sure that the people who are around the longest always win, because that's what it would do. Yeah, it's time in, right? Yeah. So it changes. It just changes the entire competition where you're always chasing the person who's been around the longest. And we know that that's not necessarily an equation that'll win you seasons as a streamer is just being around because so you kind of have to do work. Yep. Like you want to get raw about something. There's, you know, watching streamers participate in marbles for long periods of time. You start noticing it's not just being around that wins you things like that wins like that, that truly wins the season for you. It's being around and it's also like injecting yourself into the community, being a part of it, right? And growing around it and continuing to learn with the community and understanding what they want in terms of like uh content wise, right? Yeah. And that's always evolving. Like there's people who've been around a very long time that are still struggling with this current structure, right? And it's like and there's people new to the ecosystem dominating. Right. And I, I think, you know, high energy and like freshness come like comes into play a lot. Mm -hmm. Like if you're fresh with marbles, like you just have so much. There's it's really hard. In. Yeah, there's so much to take in and it's going to take you a long time to take it all in. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the life cycle of the streamer in marbles is growing and growing. Right. Where it used to like fade really quickly because you just grind a season and play one map yeah. <laughs> like the way it used to be. So that has an impact. And as we go forward, does the ecosystem just continue getting stronger and stronger? Right? Because now streamers can engage for longer periods of time. Right. I mean, we still have streamers who play like every one day a week for years. Right? They'll play like every Friday or every Monday, Marble Mondays. Mm -hmm. It's just part of their, it's part of their way. Mm-hmm. Did I answer the question? I don't even know. <laughs> yes. Yes. Could energy ever be streamer based? Like it's different per stream? Excluding cleanups. I mean, I, re I read that earlier. It's just like, then what's the purpose of energy? Like, I feel like that's just not understanding the purpose of energy. Is that like, like smaller streams, less energy clean? Like, you know, uh, no, that's saying like every stream has their own energy. Like you have energy per stream, hmm. but that doesn't, it doesn't layer with the purpose of energy. Yeah. What do you think about MSLA getting close to a thousand? I think that's insane. It was like nine seventeen or something. This last one. Wait, what? MSLA. Oh, how many they had? Yeah. Yeah, they were above, over 900, yeah. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye -bye, Is Pixel the unknown marbler? I don't think so. That sounds crazy. <laughs> Is there a place where the maps played by the top finishers is listed? In their VODs? On their streams? That In way their others can maybe? see who's playing what and using the same maps to negate any advantages? I'm so confused by this question. Oh, place. once again, I, like, I think it's just blaming the system. Like, oh, this is why people don't win. Everybody should play the same maps. Uh. Right? Because some communities might have knowledge of how maps work. Uh. So they play those maps and have an advantage. This is like, I'm just going back to the 
the place to see all like all the maps this like marbles specifically you have the most transparency to the entire grind like to the competition yeah like what other game can you pretty much guarantee all the competitors are live other than like a, a rivals event or something where, where it's like everybody has to be live but in terms of an actual game where it's just constantly like the competition's ongoing I've seen a lot of people dive into the grind over the years in marbles, you know, and the people that really want to do well, they go and they hunt and they figure it out. Yeah. They go to every stream and they, they're watching the people who are doing well at the time and they're making sure they're, you know, they're like, okay, where are these guys? I'm going to go, I'm going to go hop around the, every single stream, figure out where all these people are, who the consistent players are, who the consistent streamers are, who the best tilters are who are going to save me all the time. This like they're doing all this stuff. Yeah. We if learned. there was a place where everyone could check out where all the best things to do were, where what the meta was, this is and this, then everyone would just be like, "Oh, here we go, here's all the information." Like that's the that's the glory of figuring out the the meta in games, right? It's like these people figure it out and it's up to them if they really want to share it with others or not. Yeah, but I mean, it's all there on Twitch live, right? But you that's can, what I'm there, I guess there is, uh, yeah, it's all right there. I agree. Like, it's, that's what I'm saying. You can hop around and figure it out just based off of what the people are doing. But yeah. also, you can, like, start grinding and, and get involved in that community of competitors, and and they might teach you as well, you know? who. But, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Yeah, man. No, like, Twitch... For anybody who's just sitting around complaining on Twitch, you're really just wasting your time. If you, if every energy you put into typing a message about why you're not succeeding, you put that into searching a title on Twitch or figuring out somebody you like or some way they're doing things to adapt for yourself, you would, you would be much more happier. You'd be engaged, like you'd be directing your energy into I mean, a positive direction i i've also heard people say you know every season it's like the same people kind of getting in the top spots i mean there are some of the same people up there but it does switch around first of all but also it's like there's a reason it's a reason they like adapt to each change they know season by season they've been playing for a long time like of course they're they're gonna always be in the top spots and that's what you learn from yeah to i mean tony went through some of the most aggressive changes in marbles, I think. Mm -hmm. Like a couple, like we shifted the entire yeah, dynamic through, away like, from him. Yeah, yeah. When the whole Basically, like tilting right? thing happened and whatnot. Yeah, and he just kept going, right? Yeah. And I think he slowed down. It got frustrating a little bit for him. Yeah, I'm sure. But then he came right back. But right? he and he still he tried to do tilting for a little bit too. You know, he's like, all right, yeah. I gotta if this is it, like I gotta try it. But then realized, no, I'm not. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that too, right? Exactly. Like, you yeah. like, okay, this mode's not for me. I'm not exactly. gonna be doing this all day. Yeah. Right. And you engage, and you're like, okay, well, I guess maybe I'm not winning this season or whatever. Whatever yeah. happens. I right? mean, the ability to adapt is huge, especially for marble it's and huge. grinding. And like that's that's why you see a lot of the same people who you know do really well. They adapt. They adapt each season and each change. Yeah. And it it's you know it sucks. I totally agree. It sucks when there's games that I play, marbles or whatever. Any you know that update and change, and I'm like, I was so used to this. I was so used yeah. to this, and I was good at this, and now it's just like, bleh, I got freaking learn it all again and do it all over again. Yeah, man. It no, sucks. It's, it's, it does <laughs> suck. I totally agree. Yeah. I totally agree. But it's those changes that teach the developers things, right? And allows them to like grow their brain or whatever, and just keep like fresh and even if they gotta push fresh yeah but like even if that change sucks for a little bit they're gonna learn the people who are doing the work are gonna learn from that and if players disappear they're going to adapt it it may take time i think new world's a great example of that like they had the attention of millions of players gone right gone like they're literally down to like twenty thousand players a day right now mm. but they're still building now, whether they uh, where they go from here, we don't know, but yeah. they're continuing to build and hopefully they learn from their mistakes or learn from what they did and they adapt. And many games have done that before. No Man's Sky. 
right? I'm playing it now, and it's got it's so different yeah, it's from really when I first good played now. it. It's a completely different game, and it brings so much like, and and they pushed through the shitty times, and they made crappy decisions, and they moved through it, right? So yeah, like change sucks, but if we don't change, we're just gonna sit there forever, not adapting, like not learning and growing and building games better yeah so you just got to go through the pain and i get it like and i love when people are vocal and constructive with it like the discord for the first couple days it was a little bit more like there was a lot of attention there and people were discussing the point changes and people were bringing forward their just thoughts they were being respectful to each other and just this is what i think i think that i think the system sucks well i think the system's good and this is why like, I love hearing that stuff because it just puts all the ideas on the table and it's like, boom, discuss, right? Yeah. And you got to be able to take beatings too because oh, yeah. someone who doesn't agree with you is going to beat you and then you're probably going to beat them back. And then <laughs> But conversation, not aggression. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Final thoughts? If you're not first, you're fourth. <laughs> no, I mean, keep playing. Don't play. Whatever. Just speak. Oh, you know, speak with your actions. Yeah, I wanted to. I, yeah, I just wanted to just spit this in general. Like, there's always your favorite marble streamers. You know, like enjoy the game at its core. Just roll some marbles. Like. There's streamers out there that host local leaderboards. If it's something, if, if this is something that truly just grinds your gears so much, and also just absorb it too. Absorb it over, like this is the, you know, it's still fresh. Um, absorb it, and, you know, maybe you're getting more consistent points than you ever have before, just from the same way you're rolling, or even more casually, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's important to, to react uh, in an appropriate way, as opposed to just, like, freaking out whenever a change happens it's not easy like it's our human nature to like when a change happens like attack uh but also as humans we have the ability to stop and think about things before mm -hmm. before we freak out or just we have the time to absorb it but yeah if you end up really hating it after that just remember there's places to play just for fun true and there's lots to come we're still going. We're still going, baby. I agree, Chai. Just in general, tilting with Tony was fun. Just at, not Tony, but anybody. I think like there's a there's an aspect to watching tilters who are really good, and I love doing that. And then there's an aspect to watching tilters who just shouldn't tilt, and they're like, you know, they're just having fun doing their thing, whatever. And they're not like the best of the best. They both have a great. I don't know. They, for me, anyway, I guess because I'm involved in Tilted. I like Tilting, and I know about it. It's like seeing those things is entertaining to me. I think it'll be really awesome to see Tilted grow into its... Like, I would love to see e, like an eSport around Tilted, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And as much as like we could push it, like we could force it to happen and be like, Tilted's going to be an eSport, I'd rather just see it develop through like natural means like people doing events around it and people loving it like that'll be a way more true event as opposed to us throwing some cash down and being like yo here's here's tilted as an esport event right because mm -hmm. i think we forced it we tried to force it in the past to happen but these events need to grow like out of passion and, and grow that community around it and i think it's happening around these like two unique events that are occurring in the community with tilted and it's just got to continue to grow. They have to continue to snowball and build that community around it. And yeah. people who want to win those, like win those events because they want to win, not because there's a prize at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. They just want to be right? the best. But once that builds and it's like really solidified, then, then the studio can come in and just roll along and just lean in. Yep. But yeah, yeah like I totally agree. Tilted can, I mean, Tilted's getting to a spot. Like I was at a stream the other day. I was just talking about it and, uh, they're just saying how like you don't see the same combos over and over, right? Like each run, you might not see a piece for a while because there's so many pieces now. And as we continue to add them, you just might 
like you might run into unique combos more and more and the people who've been around will know these combos but the people who who are just getting into it like the time investment right. to grow around tilted could be so enormous and it's just part of the path and it creates this very unique competition that could be there mm -hmm. so yeah maybe we're a few updates away from like some really crazy diversity in tilted like insane diversity in terms of tra like the tracks and generation but then i think once it has enough it can it can run on its own whatever, whatever that means yeah i mean that's that happens in other video game communities like the community the, co the competitiveness around the community and depending on how many people like they throw things together themselves in in all sorts of communities all over the place and it's like that's that's kind of what we're doing here right and it's just it's just taking time to grow or whatever and it's going to yeah. keep growing if it stays uh consistent because i think that's that's the tilted route is is competition yeah uh, if I buy the bundle, this is the last one. If I buy the bundle in Marble Shop, does that count for the rev share? Uh, yeah. So everything will flow through the Captain Shop in terms of rev share. So if you want to support a streamer when it launches, you'll have to go through the Captain Shop and then put in a creator code when you buy. the The four coin bundles and the and the bundle will be there. That's the plan. Nice. And actually, there'll be another. Um, what do you call it? Exclusive bundle on there, actually. That'll have like a collection of assets. It's gonna be really cool. Excellent. Now, this is the beginning of a new era, man. Like this. Oh yeah. Like. <laughs> Woo! Like captains just down to work, like work together. Like it's amazing. Hell yeah. Like when you find people that just are just down to crush it, and you can just work together, and like ideas are flowing, you know, there's like there's like energy there and you just like lean into it and just go, okay, let's go, let's go baby. Right. And it's just like running up to this event, right? The last couple of seasons I've been slowly dialing things up, right? Mm -hmm. Dialing in the reasons to play, right. Adding the gem runs. And I think we'll change the gem runs next season for like that idea that bond's been dropped. Oh every, yeah, like, yeah. So you remove the top 50 yeah, and it's just every 10,000 gives you a gem run point every season not removing the top 50 some that wording could confuse people you're removing the extra gemron points for getting into the top 50 yeah there's still going to be leader there's still going to be numbered leaderboards oh yeah there'll still be a yeah. leaderboard i'm just yeah, saying that no, wording could confuse no, people you're right no, you're right you're right you're right uh yeah and just like i think that's a great idea yeah it just welcomes everybody into the system and, and you know, gives gives them representation for the energy they put into the game, whatever in each season. Yeah. And then and then the gem runs, this is a joke, but every, <laughs> the gem runs can become NFTs and then the NFTs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like throwing some NFTs in there. Oh lordy. Uh but yeah, guys. It's the it's super exciting. This yeah. this near future is just like holy cow. And on that Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, Send her out. We're hitting Vibbles. He does 400 races a day. So if you're looking to crank somewhere, he's he's got he's got. He's oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that it? What? 400 races a day? <laughs>